Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Lynn Arti Chanduk uh, from her book, The View from Zero Bridge. Uh, this was published by Anhinga Press in 2007 and was winner of the 2006 Philip Levine Prize for Poetry, uh, which, interestingly enough, was the year before my book was the winner. So anyways, uh, a neighbor of sorts. Um, this poem is entitled Orders of Magnitude, Brooklyn 2000. Out too late on the avenue, I imagine or hope for stars arched over earth like flowers on darkened branches, sal lights that fall like messengers of old catastrophes, bright red planets, any of these would do. But here, midnight is neither broad or black. The roof lines have Orion, and the moon in halo backlights aging cornices. Once I climbed switchback paths till trees gave way to glaciers melting into lakes they fed, resurfacing as islands, mirror on mirror, like ice clouds skipping off a soundless sky. There nights were brilliant, God seemed plausible. The cliffs might block the view, the valleys narrow, but at a turn it all turned to expanse. That day I found myself surrounded, cupped inside a glacial cradle, while the clouds unrolled like bolts of quilters batting, fell and hid the sky. I sat alone and cold, a single goatherd's bell in hollow choir, and waited. Now, walking the avenue, I know the clouds will lift, I know this too, Orion cartwheels vanishing in spring, still I find myself imagining that city lights might falter or just dim one night, till constellations in all their dimension brighten as in heaven's view. That sky might hail some new catastrophe. At least I'd comprehend its magnitude. Um, Orders of Magnitude, Brooklyn 2000, from Lin Arti Chanduk. Um, from the view from Zero Bridge. If you enjoyed this reading and like this poem, please like this video, hit the thumbs up button, um, and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, this goes to, well, help the algorithm locate this video and other videos like this and increase sort of the, the opportunities for other people to see these videos, enjoy these poems and encounter these poets and hopefully buy their books. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series, and if you do, please uh, feel free to share uh, these videos with others. Uh, comment below if you have suggestions for videos or poets and other poems that I can tackle. And if you uh, yourself are a poet with a book out and would like to be featured, please feel free to reach out and let me know, and we'll see if we can figure out a way to feature some of your work on this channel as well. Um, I hope as summer is picking up wherever you are, that you are enjoying the weather, finding opportunities to get outside, and hopefully availing yourself of the medical opportunities to receive vaccines and prepare yourself for a re-entry into what, well, will be some type of normalcy. Um, I think even in sort of this post-pandemic world we're headed to, I'm grateful for technology and hope that we'll continue to stay in touch um, by technology uh, across the distances. Uh, I'm grateful for the ways in which this channel and this project has enabled me to connect with many of you and hope that uh, as you do the same, if you decide that you want to be a creator and create something on YouTube or elsewhere, that you will share your work as well and expand the circle um, allow others to encounter poetry, art, whatever it is that you build and create, um, that it opens doors for more dialogue and more understanding, more compassion, and more opportunities to create whatever is next, whatever is new for you. So until next time, uh, take care and stay safe and well. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back as always, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Until then, keep reading, keep writing, and keep being involved with the world, whatever you're doing, sharing it, um, engaging it, inventing it, um, and discovering it. So 
until then, we'll be writing and reading, and we'll be back with you soon. Goodbye.